It's not long now until the new Pokemon games, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, released to the world, bringing us back into the Sinnoh region. Uh, you may know that I am a fan of Pokemon games. I've played through quite a few on my channel in my time. I'm not sure whether I'll do a Let's Play of Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl when it releases. Probably not, as that's not really the content I'm interested in producing anymore. However, I may make a few videos on it, depending on if I get any ideas or uh, if I record anything. Really, it's, it's up in the air at the moment. For this video, I'm going to run through the team I plan to use during my adventure. So what better place to start than with the starter Pokemon? I've chosen Turtwig. Yes, the lovely plant turtle. He's, he's an underrated choice in Sinnoh, I feel. I think that most people will use Chimchar or Piplup. I do believe Chimchar is the most popular of the Sinnoh starters, if I'm not mistaken. However, I will be using Turtwig, the goat, as uh, he's just my favourite of the three starters, really. That's all there is to it. I feel that Turtwig, well, he might not be the best of the three. He's definitely my favourite. He's just a little, a cute little grass turtle. And while he's not the fastest, you can still still deal quite a quite a good bit of damage. I should probably stress that while Turtwig will be a permanent fixture in my team, the team will change as the game progresses. Obviously I can't catch all these Pokemon on the first route, so I'm going to have to work through a couple Pokemon until I get the team to where I want. So the team in this video is like my perfect final team that I plan to use. Um, we'll see if I can catch some of these Pokemon prior to, or pretty early on, seeing how Pokemon Home is integrated into Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, because I, I think I have a few of these Pokemon knocking about on there. Uh, so in no particular order, we're going to go to my second Pokemon, which is going to be Azumarill, the Water Fairy type. Now I believe I've mentioned this in most of my Pokemon team planning videos, but I always like to have that core of grass, fire, water, you know. The three starter uh, types, I like to, you know, make build a core around that. And so for my water type, I've got Azumarill, who also gets the fairy typing, which I think is pretty pog. One of my favourite types, if not my favourite type. Now I've, I love Azumarill ever since Gen 6 when they got the fairy typing, they've rose up the ranks of my favorite Pokemon. Um, so it was it was a no-brainer really to use one of these, although there are some good water types I could have chosen. For example, Floatzel or Quagsire were also in contention, but in the end it was always going to be Azumarill. The, both the water type and the fairy typing, should they keep that I believe they're keeping fairy types, um, will be a huge asset to the team and uh, yeah, keep, keep us going through the tough region that is Sinnoh. Uh, for the fire type to complete this trifecta, there are two Pokemon up for contention. Obviously, my favorite Pokemon, Nine Tails, will be on the team. But, according to this sheet, it is locked until after I complete the game once. So after I beat the Elite Four. Um, which is sad. But, if Pokemon Home integration is there, I can just trade a Vulpix over and I'll have a Nine Tails already. But if I have to beat the Hall of Fame to even get a Vulpix or a Ninetales in my game, then I have chosen Magmortar, who is a very sick Pokemon. Let's be real. Um, Sinnoh is kind of kind of slacking on fire types, which is a shame. Um, so I'm not sure how early I'll be able to catch a Magby, um, or how I will even get a Magmortar. I do believe I've got someone who I can trade with anyway which should be fine uh, but if it comes to it I could probably trade myself a Magmortar <laughs> I've got I think I've got one liner out somewhere so yeah if I can't have a nine tails until it beat the elite four then it will be Magmortar who will be sitting on my team but if I can nine tails makes an obvious spot being my favorite Pokemon and all now I move away from that lovely grass water fire core to the more extravagant Pokemon shall we say now I like Gen 4, I like a lot of the Pokemon they introduced, and a lot of Pokemon available in these games are very cool. So it was very hard for me to whittle these three down, because I knew I had to have that core before I chose other Pokemon. That's just how I make my teams, you don't need the core, I've seen people without the core, but that's just how I do it anyway. So for my fourth Pokemon we're going with Hunchcrow, or Honchcrow, however you want to pronounce it. It's a bird wearing a hat. 
I mean, look at it. Look how cool it is. Now, this Pokemon is an exclusive to Diamond, and I will be playing Pearl. But luckily, I got the hookup who can hook me up with a lovely Honch Crow, which I massively respect. Yeah, I've chosen against Staraptor. While Staraptor is a very cool Pokemon, I feel that they are a bit overused, and rightly so. Like, Starly is like one of the first root Pokemon you can catch, and I will definitely have a Starly on my team until I can get this Honch Crow or Murkrow, depending how I get them. But I'm definitely going to be using Honch Crow in my final team. Dark Flying type, very cool Pokemon. I don't really use Dark types that much, so it's going to be fun to fun to use and I've always liked the design of Honch Crow. So yeah, this gets a spot on my team. The fifth Pokemon is Toxicroak. Now, it's Toxicroak really. Krogunk is one of my favourite Gen 4 Pokemon and I would love to use it on my team. So when that chance arises, he's going straight on my team. He's a very cool Pokemon. He was very cool in the Diamond and Pearl anime, which is, I think, the first Pokemon anime series I watched, like, a lot. Um, which, which probably did inform my tastes, but I do like frogs. So yeah, it was really a no-brainer in the end. And Toxicroak is just evolved from a Krogunk. So, yeah, I'm going to use Toxicroak. I think it's Poison Fighting or Poison Dark, which is a very cool type combo. And it's going to pack a punch. It will definitely come in handy. And finally, we've got Garchomp. Now Garchomp, very popular Pokemon. And rightly so, because they are very strong, very powerful, and very cool looking. And I do believe the anime also enforced my choice of Garchomp because of Gibble that Ash had. I do, and do, I do like the Garchomp line. I think Gabite's cool. So yeah, it's really a no-brainer. They're going to be a proper powerhouse of the team. Um, I think the only type my team are weak to, weak to, is Ice. But then again, the fire type take care of that easy peasy. Although I didn't really build this team with any sort of like gyms or, or, or the game in mind at all, really. I just went, these Pokemon are like, they're in my team. Obviously, I'm probably going to struggle with some gyms with this team. Who knows? I don't even know when I can catch most of these Pokemoners. Sinnoh's not a region I am that well versed on. But when we get those Gen 5 remakes, oh boy, that's going to be fun. That is my beautiful team for Sinnoh. Here they all are in their pre-evolved forms. And here are their final evolutions. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing through these games. They look very cool. I'm, I'm, I'm much more excited for them now than when they were first revealed because the games look a lot better. And I do want to touch on the fact that, yes, you can get Mew and Jirachi really on in the game. But they've got Pokemon boxes for a reason. You don't have to use them. They're not pointing a gun to your head saying, Use fucking Mew throughout this game. They didn't appear on my team. They don't have to appear on your team. Just stick them in a box and forget about it. <laughs> that's it. It's a Pokemon game. It's made for children. Don't cry about it, alright? But yeah, that's my team. It will change, but that is the final team that I want. It will change throughout the game as it must. Due to not being able to catch Pokemon at certain points. But you know, that's part of the game really, isn't it? experimenting with both Pokemon. So yeah, I've been over the giant tree. That is my team for Sinnoh. If you're planning on playing these games, you can drop your team in the comments. I'd love to see what your plans are. And uh, if you're team Turtwig or team Chimchar or team Piplup. I could respect a team Piplup, to be honest. And Peridon's pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah, I shall see you guys later. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand. I